Okay, so welcome to Tony's Board Life. Um, <laughs> if you saw my just recent video, we realized we kind of screwed up. I kind of screwed up some of the rules. Uh, so we're going to take this a little bit slower uh, and go through this. Um, I actually got rid of the... Um, the uh, flip book because there were some inaccuracies in it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to start over again. Um, I've reset the board. Uh, so it's it's all good to go. We're not There's not a problem. So we're going to take this a little bit slower. As we go through. So... So what we need to do, I've got everything marked on here. So what I need to do now is I need to do the um, pre-bombardment phase. So we'll have the bombardment phase uh, with go through. So pre-invasion bombardment. Okay. So I've been shuffling the cards up. So we're going to go through. We're going to cut them. Now let's try this. So, D-Day at Peleliu. Take two. Okay. Or two. I don't know. Whatever. Take two. Okay. Draw one action card. Place your sharp marker on all Japanese units' positions matching the three colors on the card. Uh, the uh, There is an exception. It says, with the exception, disruption markers not placed on units' position in Coral Mountains and Terrain. That is actually no longer, there are no more exceptions. So that's one of those uh, things that came out. So our pre-bombardment card is red, purple, blue. So let's get some disruption markers. So purple. Mm -hmm. Can I really, that, 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 uh, that light, I'm gonna have to figure out some of that. Red, purple, blue. That's a blue, and we got a red, we got a blue, and we got a red. Disrupted, disrupted. Okay. Disrupted. 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 Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay. So that was my pre bombardment so that's that. <coughs> now. Okay, so we did the pre bombardment phase. So, Japanese fire phase. That's the first one, first phase we're doing for turn one. So, Japanese fire phase. Here we go. So, we have yellow. Is he in yellow? He is in extended yellow. He has a triangle, so yes, that one will go. Yellow, what's that? Yep, so that's going to get hit there. Purple is disrupted here. Okay, so that's going to be it. So, um, so the fire card includes Japanese artillery value. Does not, and that's after turn two, beginning turn two, so that doesn't count on this turn. Remove disruption marker from eligible Japanese positions, which is 6.4. So let's go to 6.4. Okay, disrupted unit. Okay, removing disruption markers from Japanese units. A Japanese unit remains disrupted until the position color appears on the fire card. 
After resolving all the fire, Japanese fire phase removed the disruption marker from the disrupted. Japanese units in a position matching a color appear on the fire card. Also, certain events call for removal of Japanese. Okay, so yellow, purple, and green. So really, it's just the purple here that is going to... Oh, I forgot. Okay. Disrupted and disrupted. Okay. They lose a step and they're disrupted. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So any yellows? Yellows not. Purple is. So purple. All the purples are no longer disrupted. Including this armor all the way up here. Okay. So let's, there we go. We're good there. Go there. Okay. So action phase. So we have uh, US uh, HQ phase skip action. So the free ones will be this one. So he has been turned. Let's... The only nice thing is when I do zoom in, it does take away that, that shine. Okay, so this disrupt is gone. This disrupt is gone, but that's that action for that turn. Now, this guy here can move into here. Boom. Oop. So this guy moved into here. Then he's done. Okay, so that's my action phase. Okay, end of turn one. Let me take the two cards, put them in. Now, we are now on to turn two. Oh, where's my turn marker? Okay, now on to turn two. So, now let's see if we can do this right. <laughs> this was my issue okay uh there is one other thing uh this should be purple and not um nope. let me there's one big one here and that's that's this right here should be purple so we can move here i'll move these up at least some of these up so we can see her make sure okay so that should be purple and not blue I'll have to double check on that. Um, give me a minute. Okay, so yes, it should be brown and purple, not brown and blue. So, okay. But we're going to start off down here. Okay, I can move these back here. Okay. So, first amphibious card. We are looking at brown which we do have, and it has to be a triangle, which I do have, so that gets hit. No drift. Okay. Next one. Blue, which it does, and circle, so that's going to get hit. No drift again. Next card. Brown, circle. Well, there's no brown, so we're good to go there. No drift. Orange, two. Yellow, which the area is circle. No drift again, so that's going to get put there. And then the last one for orange, three. Purple circle, that should be brown and purple. So yes, that one takes a hit. No drift again, so. Okay, so that's the. Okay, so now I can move you, each unit in a leech, 
beach landing box to any beach hex attached to that box. Okay, so I can put these anywhere I want to now. So I think I'm going to put that there. Yeah, let's put him here. Him, oh. Put him here, him here, put him here. Okay, so we're going to put you there. Put you there, and you there. Next one. This one didn't take any hits, so I'm just happy enough to send them in this way. Neither did Orange 2. Oh, it did take a hit. Um, neither of them are disrupted, so I'm kind of okay with this. This one would get this one would get the hit first uh, because it's adjacent. Okay, and then finally, orange three. This one took a hit. Um, not gonna put it in a double for sure. So we're gonna do that. Okay. So that's all that one. So now I'm going to take, so now I can place units scheduled to arrive in the beach landing box 6.3. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'll be back once it's done. Okay. So now those are all set, ready to go. Okay. So that's the first one. Okay. Now we need the first event phase. So take the first event. It says place the hero marker on any US unit and add a depth marker to one Japanese unit. One Japanese unit. Okay. Okay, so that's the first event phase. So I get to put a hero. Um, let's go ahead and put that right there. Okay, and then a depth. So Closest to a unit. So these two right here. Actually, these uh, this one already has one. So this one and this one and this one are adjacent. So I've got a couple. Uh, position adjacent to a landing beach hex. That one, that one, and that one. Okay. And then other position uh, within priority lowest ID number than lowest letter. So that's a nine, that's a six, and this is a two. So the two is going to get a depth marker. So let's just grab a depth marker here and put it in underneath here. Okay, so here's just a little bit and get kind of get all of it in there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now Japanese fire card. Ah, I dropped the card. Okay, here we go. Okay, so M's not involved yet. R and A are not involved yet. Okay, so we're good. So it's just the colors. Now, so yeah, this is not going to be good. Okay, so this one has brown. Uh, so this one's got two, so I can take two hits. So this one takes a hit. And then this one takes a hit. Because there's a depth marker, it takes two hits. You can't assign uh, different depth markers <coughs> or uh, hits. He can only be hit once there. Um, so triangle, and it is what? Uh, K31. Okay. K31. Now, thing is, both of these guys are now disrupted. So he's disrupted and he's disrupted. Okay. <sighs> Yellow only has one. He's going to take a hit and become disrupted as well. 
one unit, one hit. Okay, the rest of the yellows are not taken care of. Okay, purple. Hit, hit. Now this guy can do two hits, and so it's going to take a hit on both of these. Okay, so that's going to kill the amphibious, but that doesn't count against me for the, for the, he is also disrupted as well. I can't get in there. No. Oh, this is an orange one. <clears throat> now, I'd say this one could fire out here, um, but I don't have any circles here for that, since this is definitely a uh, purple, purple hex. Okay. Okay. This purple. Oh, oh good. I didn't see it. So this purple, it's going to be this tank, because it's the closest. Adjacent. This purple. Nope. So we're good to go here. <clears throat> okay. Brown. Brown. Again, circle. Can't hit other units. Okay, so kind of lucked out there. Brown, it's a circle. There's no circle there. Brown, one unit's going to do one hit. And let's just go adjacent. Let's just go straight ahead. Because both of these would have mattered. Um, if equal distance nearest to the U.S. unit, if equal distance is low number. Oh. That one's yeah. okay. Oh, so that's gonna be disrupted as well. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay. No second event phase, no HQ phase, so now it's my action. So here's what I'm going to do. First and foremost, let's get rid of all these disrupted markers here. Because <laughs> they cannot move. Okay, so now, <clears throat> uh, let's see here. So, movement. So, I'm looking to Okay, so that, okay, that'll help out, yes. So I can do preservation move, which is a free move, right? Saw that somewhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, an infantry unit in a landing beach hex conducting a one hex preservation move. Okay, yep. Okay. And it can't be an infiltration move. So this guy right here can't move. That guy can't move. Those three can't move anyways. This one can't move. This guy can. He can move in here. He can move in here. They can move in there as well. Uh, that can move. That can move. He can't move, but he's already disrupted. This guy can move. Can't move that guy. This guy can move here. And this guy can move here. Okay. 
Okay, so I still have my two actions. So, and I think what I want to do is, yep. So we're going to put a fire into here. So this will be my US action. So. Okay. So. It's close combat. Okay, so this is already disrupted. So flip this guy over here. Ooh, it's got a DE. So oh cool. DE demolition. Okay, so we have this guy, he's full. Now we're looking at this DE here. Ooh, that was close up. So we are looking at this DE right here. DE is demolitions, infantry with four steps, which he has. As well as if we didn't, we had the Linden. So he is it. So what does that mean? That means that. U.S. attackers' positions required weapons. Yes. Is it alone? Is it at double strength? So that's a two, and that's a seven. So that's definitely double. Okay. Is it Japanese? You know, so Japanese defeated. So if Japanese is defeated. If they is elite and in Japanese communication withdraws, place of his. If it's defeated and it's not elite or in the Japanese communication, place the eliminate Japanese in the box turn 1 through 12. So this one's going to go in through 1 through 12. Okay, and this disruption marker goes away. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so that's one action. I've got one more action. And so let's go ahead and take this one into this one. Now, my only goal with this one is to actually um, get rid of the depth marker because turns one through four, I can't, I can only get rid of the depth marker. So take this. Also, if it's. Um, Oh, geez. Okay. So, here we go. So, the FL would be flank. I'm definitely not flanking. I do have the machine gun. So, that doesn't work. So, no, we do not. Um, at least double the strength. Yes, because I have six. Japanese unit and unrevealed depth marker. Japanese is disrupted, so it just stays disrupted. Okay, but now I know what I have to do to take care of that one. So we're going to twist that that way. Okay, and that's everything. So I've cleared the beach pretty much so, which is a good thing. Okay, yep, I cleared the beach pretty much. I'm ready to go for these guys to come in. I have taken a lot of hits. Uh, especially once I figured out the right way to do things, I figured out a lot, you know, an issue, a couple issues I had. So <clears throat> anyways, really good here. Um, so it would be interesting to see how I, what, what goes on next. So, okay. Uh, that's the end of the turn. We take our cards here. Okay. Take our cards. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Boom. Put these in. Oh, no. We're on to turn three. Okay. Not there yet. <laughs> so, 
guess kind of where we're at. We did get rid of one Japanese unit. We have a position that we have open here we need to move in so that way it can't. Um, I've uh, pretty much all done everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset all my units. Oh, 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 this one right here could not have done that move. <sighs> okay, we're good. It could not have done that move <clears throat> because it can't do the preservation move. Phew, caught that one. Okay, everything is all reset. Okay, guys, well, with that, again, as, as, um, as from what I hear the Brits say, I cocked up the first game. <laughs> so um, I hope I'm making amends on this next one. And hopefully it works well. So, um, oops. Oh, crud. Let's see here. Yeah, I forgot um, to remove this disruption marker right there because of that card that was the fire card. I forgot to remove that. Okay. Yep. So this one, and then... Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, let's uh, hope I got this right. Um, I'll probably put this up and give it several days. Um, if you are watching this, and you see I messed up something up, please let me know. Um, uh, I will put it up. I'm not going to do another turn yet. I'm going to go through the rules another fourth time and seeing to make sure. Um, I think I got everything correct this time. Uh, <clears throat> and then we'll go from there. Okay, great. Talk to you guys later. Bye.